What else did you think I would talk about today? I'm pissed off, and I normally prefer to be sort of objective and stand back a bit, as, as you know. But I've got skin in this game because I still describe myself as at least an ideological anarchist, and I still consider myself very much to be way on the left. So when people like Antifa break into an event that doesn't have any fascists at it, uh, beat people up, disrupt it, set off smoke bombs, and cause it to be ended, you know, that, by association, uh, makes me look bad. Uh, makes my ideas and my ideology and, and my thoughts look bad. It discredits them in the same way that the alt-right discredits conservative views. So I'm really pissed off, but disappointed, I guess. Um, might be a better term. I mean, Sargon has definitely slid to the right. I would now describe him as centre right more than more than anything else. Um, his support for right wing figures in Europe, purely because they're anti Europe, is is a problem. Uh, I think his support for Brexit is short sighted, idiotic, and doesn't have any real grounding in anything. You know, various others of his points of view I, I take issue with. But in no way can he be described as a fascist. I don't see how anybody could describe him as a, uh, describe him as a fascist. And the person he was sitting across is a member of the uh, Ayn Rand Institute, which is objectivism, which is um, a ludicrous cult of people who have no idea how the world works, but then that can be said of Antifa as well. It's particularly distressing that this took place yeah, here in the UK, in London, where anyone who understands politics and understands history should know that this was the worst thing Antifa could have done if they wanted to discredit and harm their opposition. You know, if you want to undermine Sargon, if you want to undermine the objectivists, if you want to actually do what you say you are and be anti-fascist, this is not what you do. You know, attacking people who have nothing to do with fascism, nothing to do with the alt-right, just makes these people look better, makes the alt-right look better. You know, this is a lesson from history. I mean, we're justifiably proud of the Battle of Cable Street in, in British history when Mosley's fascists were prevented from, from staging a march. But that actually helped them. At that time, they were kind of on the outs. They'd lost a lot of their media sympathy and so on. But the, the violence, the, the attacks, the disorder, and the fact that um, Mosley cooperated with the establishment and called off the march and everything, that gave them a huge PR boost at the time and allowed them to keep going for a bit longer. Far left violence, even against fascists, tends to feed the fascists. Far left violence against liberals, centrists, libertarians, it's not going to make you look good, it's not going to help you out, it's not going to forward your cause, it's going to help the enemy. You're fucking idiots in what you've done here. It, how am I supposed to argue past people's perception of, of the far left or of anarchistic ideas and ideals as being violent and repressive? which they're the opposite of, when you're acting violent and repressive. The fascists here was Antifa. I've been saying this for some time, I've had some friends who have previously been involved in Antifa back in the 80s and so on, who've cut off contact, essentially, because I was pointing out these problems with Antifa. Well, I now feel justified in criticising Antifa and telling them that this was a problem, that Antifa were acting like fascists. This is absurd, stupid, tactically a bad move. Come on, get it together. If you have to attack anyone, and you shouldn't attack anyone, you should protest and question and discuss, then at least go after actual fascists. Zang. Old Fat Punks is part caper, part comedy, part nostalgia and part commentary. It follows three ageing punks as they build themselves up for one big, nihilistic, last hurrah. You can buy Old Fat Punks at Amazon, Drive Through Fiction, 
or lulu.com. Follow the links below or search on those sites. Thank you.